Hi, I'm Darren from uh, Utah Helicopter down here at uh, Uniform 77 with my co-partner Kyle Victor. So today we've been uh, designated to talk about the axis of rotation and I just kind of wanted to go over that with you. But the first term that we want to take a look at is what we call a tip path plane to fully understand what the axis of rotation is. So the axis of rotation um, is going to be perpendicular to the tip path plane. And if you can imagine, a tip path plane is if you take a ribbon and put it on the edges of your rotor blades, it's going to create this surface as it's spinning. And we'll be able to demonstrate that here on this cool model helicopter. So Kyle's going to go ahead and. Whoop, I'm not sure if you can, can you see that. <laughs> okay, so you're able to see that it created a plane going around. That's what a tip path plane looks like. So now, the, there's a couple diagrams that we have here. In a hover, your tip path plane is going to be pretty much straight across. And so your axis of rotation is going to be straight up and down. And a lot of times new students get this mixed with the mast. And so we kind of wanted to demonstrate what the axis of rotation looks like in forward flight as well, so you can see that it's not going to be the mast itself. So here's in forward flight, you've got your mast right here, but then your rotor blades are tilted in order to get that thrust for your forward flight. And you can see the tip path plane, the edges are going to be much different than where the mast is. So now your axis of rotation is still perpendicular to your tip path plane, so it's a lot different. And that's the true definitions that we have. We have tip path plane is an imaginary circular plane that's outlined by the ro rotor blade tips, and then the axis of rotation is the imaginary line about which rotors rotate. So, and that's all I have for the axis of rotation.